open your NAT type. Now, if you're wondering why you can't do certain shit on, on your Xbox 360 or your Xbox One, if you can't join certain lobbies or do certain glitches or host the lobby, it's because your NAT type is fucked up. If you're on a moderate or a strict NAT type, you're not going to be able to do any of these things. You're not going to be able to join a lot. Your, your, your shit's just going to be limited. So in order to get your open NAT type, as you can see, mine is uh you got to do a couple things first look i'm gonna show you i'm gonna show you what it normally is for me normally it's on an automatic port which gives me a strict or a moderate nat site if i test the nat type it's gonna say strict or moderate it should it's generally like that and uh, an easy way to fix it, and people don't know about it, it's not complicated at all, and it doesn't affect your internet connection. It just opens you up to more multiplayer games and uh, more lobbies. So, see, it ain't even, it ain't even running this boy. All right. So, look, I'm going to go back. More than likely, this uh, this NAT type is going to be moderate or strict. That's why it's not popping right up. The other, the, the following service experience, uh, purchasing content, it's been showing that on Xbox all day. It has nothing to do with my internet connection or the NAT type. But anyway, to open up that NAT type, it's real easy. You go to advanced settings. Like once you're connected to whatever hotspot you're connected to or whatever, whatever uh, internet you're connected to, go to advanced settings. You don't mess with IP. You don't mess with DNS. You don't mess with alternate MAC address, but you will go to alternate port address and go to manual. And generally, it's going to be this or some other, uh, some other, something that that Xbox has determined they want your port to be. And what you do is you select any one of these. Just select one of them. All right. If it's not one of those, if and then you back out, and then you go over here, and then you're going to test your NAT type. And look, and you're gonna. There's only five selections. One of these five is gonna be an open that type. And once you get that open that type, you can join everybody's lobby. You can host all the shit. Look, it looks like your that type is open now. So continue. Boom. That's it. But if it did, if it would have showed up moderate, strict, or whatever, then what I would have did was is I'd have kept going through advanced settings, alternate port address, manual. Go to select port and then choose one of these five. That's it. And then keep doing it. And then whenever you go back out to this screen, you're going to go back out to this main screen. You're going to wait for a second. You're going to test in that type. And it's either going to say strict, moderate, or open. One of the, hey, dude, keep changing your port until it says open. And then once you get that open, open net, you're going to be able to, uh, you're going to be able to do, host the lobbies, which you need to do to do the glitch. You got to host the lobbies to be able to do, do the glitch. If you're open, that means you that anybody can join your shit. So that's the only way to do it. All right.